Alright, what is going on guys? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tutorial. And in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to transport items in Minecraft horizontally and vertically. So this is going to be pretty easy and let's get into how to do it. So the first thing we're going to look at are just a couple simple mechanisms that will shoot your blocks out if you put them inside. So if right here we have a dropper and if we put items inside that dropper, as you can see, all of them will automatically be shot out. And that's the result of this just little simple redstone setup. As you can see, we have a comparator going into a repeater with goes into a block with redstone and then it goes into another repeater. Just just take a screenshot, pause the video, and basically copy exactly what I have right here. As you can see, that red light has to be on for this to work. But if you want to, just pause the video quick and build this. And if you put any blocks in that dropper, they will automatically come out. And make sure you're using a dropper, not a, not a dispenser. Anyway, this is just another design right here. So once again, you throw the items in the dropper. This one's a little more compact. We have a comparator which goes into a sticky piston and then you have two observers with their backs facing each other. Make sure they're placed the right way. You want the red sides out on both sides. So that makes an uh, observer clock and then it powers a piece of redstone dust on top of that orange block. And then that will power the dropper making it shoot out all of its blocks automatically. And once again make sure you're using a dropper for every single one of these designs. If you use a dispenser and you try to like put arrows through it or something, then it's going to shoot out all your arrows and you definitely don't want that to happen. But anyways this is our third design right here. This one's just more horizontal. It's the exact same concept though. Uh, so you put the blocks inside the dropper and then once again it powers the sticky piston which pushes the observer and then you have an observer clock. Once again you want the two observer arrows facing away from each other. So it makes a clock and then redstone dust going into the dropper and it'll shoot everything out. And that's our third and final design for automatic dropper machines. So, I mean, there's many more, but that's just a few of them. So now let's get into how to transport the items. Okay, so now we're going to expand upon a few mechanics. So this is the easiest way to move items in the game, and it's through hoppers, which are very easy to understand, but they cost a lot of iron. As you can see, we simply just throw a diamond in the top chest, it goes through the two hoppers, and it goes into the side of that chest, which automatically puts it in the chest. The problem with hoppers is they get really expensive with iron, but they're really easy to understand. But we want easier ways to transport things, so let's expand upon that concept. Okay, so with this device, we're just expanding on everything that we've talked about before. So we just have a chest with a hopper going into a dropper. And that dropper is hooked up to one of the automatic machines that we had earlier that makes it spit out all its blocks automatically. So we put the uh, items in the chest, they go down to the, into the dropper, and then that dropper will automatically dispense all the items. Which can be useful, because now we can expand upon this mechanic. Okay, so now what we have is a dropper hooked up to a water stream, so when the items get shot out of the dropper, they're going to go with the water stream and keep flowing forever. So what we have here is a half slab, and if we throw diamonds on top of that half slab, the hopper will pick them up, it'll throw it into the dropper, our automatic dropper machine will activate, and yeah, you can throw items on top of a half slab above a hopper and it'll pick it up. But anyways, you can see the dropper dropped all the items, and they followed the water stream to the end of the water stream, and now they're stuck. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually expand upon the water stream, and we're going to make it longer so they can actually get into that hopper right there. Okay, so in order to do this, what you're going to want is any type of ice block. Right here I have packed ice, and you want to place the ice blocks at the end of the water stream, just like this. And then you want to place a pressure plate, and then another water source block right there, so the stream will keep going, but it won't go backwards. And that's pretty much all you have to do, so the items will go back through the dropper, they'll flow all the way downstream, they'll go over the ice, and then they'll keep going. As you can see right here, that's going to be demonstrated. They keep going, you see they slow down a little bit, so if you want to play it safe, you can just keep throwing ice underneath the water streams, that'll speed up the items even more. But as you can see, they just travel across the pressure plate, and then they keep going, and then they go into the hopper. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the items go through turns as well, through the water stream. So, we're going to open up this, and now we're going to have them turn a couple times here, and then go into the hopper. So once again, it's the exact same process. Throw a pressure plate on top of an ice block, have a couple ice blocks before the pressure plate, and then you can place another water source block, and as you can see, that water source block will follow the bend of the blocks that I have right here, and then that'll curve, and all the items will go through there perfectly. But as you can see, it's stuck running into a wall here, so what we're going to have to do is add yet another water source block. So you can see I have my ice blocks built up, and then I don't want the pressure plate there, I want it right there. And then I can place another water source block right here, and then as you can see, the items will flow through there smoothly, and then they'll eventually get to the hopper. So yeah, it really is that simple. We come back here, we throw our diamonds into the dropper, and there you go. As you can see, all of them will follow the flow of the water, and they're going to easily go around the bends, and very quickly make their way into the hopper, which will go straight into that chest. And that's a very, very easy way to move uh, items horizontally without using hoppers. And yeah, you can open double chests through glass, by the way. Just, just a quick tip. But yeah, so now let's get into vertically. Okay, so now we're going to be moving items vertically. So right here we just have a nice pillar of blocks. As you can see, we throw our items inside the dropper. It'll automatically start shooting them out. And it's kind of satisfying to watch them just float up to the top. And how this works is that the dropper is actually shooting the items into that plus shape of cubes and the items have nowhere to go so they just simply keep floating up. So if you build solid plus signs of any block in the game, it can be glass, it can be like dirt, anything in this plus shape, all the way up from the base of the dropper, the items will go straight up. There can't be a block missing though, as you can see right here, I demonstrate. 
if there's a block missing, see I took a block out on the side, the items will shoot out to the side. But if you put it back, there you go. They'll go straight up. Uh, if I break this block right here, as you see, they'll start shooting out the side again. So once again, you just want solid pluses all the way up, and they're going to go straight up for you. Okay, so now let's expand upon that mechanic. So as you can see, once again, we have the items shooting straight up through the plus tower, and they hit the top, and then they hit a water source, and now they're also going horizontally as well as vertically. And it's very easy to do this, and they're going into that hopper. And the way hoppers work, you'd think that it goes into that hopper, and then it goes down into this hopper, and then it shoots into this hopper. But that's not the case, because how hoppers work is they actually check down before sideways. So this hopper right here in the middle is looking down before sideways, and it finds a hopper below it, so it goes into this hopper down here, which then shoots it into that hopper, which then goes into that chest. It's kind of difficult to understand, but that's how hoppers work. They always go down before sideways. And this is just a quick view to show where to put that water source. So right here I just break this block and once again it's just solid pluses all the way up to the top with just a water source in the middle when you want to stop. It'll go up forever and then just place a, a glass block above the middle where the dropper is just so you don't lose any items just to make sure. Once again that thing will go literally as high as you want it to go. It's a little slow but it'll get there. And then another way to transport items vertically is through bubble columns, which is a concept I covered in my last video. So put soul sand down, it'll shoot up, put a sign right there, and then have another water source above it. And it'll shoot the blocks up into that water source above it, and that's another vertical way to move them. And this machine's actually going to put everything we learned in this video into one thing. So as you can see, the items are automatically shot into the bubble, into the bubble column, and then they fly all the way up. They're caught by that water source, and then they go through a whole bunch of bumps and turns. They hit a pressure plate, they turn around. And they eventually get to right here, and then as you can see, they get on top of that glass block, and they just disappear. Now you might be thinking, what's going on here? And what's actually happening is this minecart with a hopper is grabbing the items. Minecarts with hoppers can grab items through a block. So if you put a minecart with a hopper below one solid block, it'll be able to pick it up, which is a really, really useful feature. But anyway, so the items, as you can see, I try to throw an item on here. I fail a couple times, but if I throw one, this one right here, I throw it on there. The minecart with hopper actually grabbed that through the block, which is really useful. And then it put it down in these hoppers below, and that hopper goes into this hopper, and you can kind of just see the, the angle they're going, and they're going to eventually get over here, and what we have here is another hopper scenario here. Which one's it going to go into? You'd think it goes sideways, because it's facing sideways into the top chest, but no, once again it checks down for that hopper, and then it goes into the bottom chest, because it's always looking down first, and all the items end up in the bottom chest. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a lot, but you know, once you get used to it, you get pretty good at it, and yeah, that's how you transport items vertically, horizontally. There's a whole bunch of ways to do it. I mean, it was kind of quick. Pause the video if you need to. Rewind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I should have a nice zombies video coming up tomorrow night, hopefully. And thank you guys so much. We're almost at 300 subs. I appreciate it. Hope you found this useful. Thank you all for watching. It's been Smitty. Peace out.